Hello inventors, in this video we will learn how we can create an app that can hack someone else contact list. We can get their all contact names and the number. So this is really very simple app we will create here. This app just for learning purpose. So we will use your MIT app inventor. So we just need to click on start new project and my project name is contact hacking and then okay. Now that's our first screen. So first we will design our app and that's really very simple design. You can design anything here because in the backend process we will do just different thing. So design is really doesn't matter. So let me just design some basic things. So just layout and then vertical arrangement and make this with this and hide this fill parent. You can apply that process in any apps. And I just, I just want to use one button here and I want to use here one image. And that image I'm going to use here one picture I have that uploaded choose file that one is gift image then okay okay and now I'm going to make that button name is like open your gift something open your gift like this change that background color font size 20 make that background color to black and make this all this thing in a center like this use one label between that button so we'll make some space here like this or you can increase that uh, label height to some percentage around two to three percent like fine so that's your app design whenever someone click on that open your gift button so we will change that gift image so i will use your one more image so click on upload file click on choose file and i have that one image is win the win image okay and let's go to the block section and whenever someone click on that uh, button so we will change that button uh, that image sorry okay so we will set that picture to the win image that is design done now we have to turn main part of our app so how we can fetch the data contact list so first of all we need to ask for the permission so whenever we open our app or whenever someone or open our app so screen in a slice and we will ask for permission call ask for permission this method whenever we screen whenever our screen will initialize and the permission name is contact details so we just need to use your text and try and drop it here like this and just type your android dot permission dot read underscore contact contacts and just make this one this one okay android dot P E R M I W -S, S I O N. This should be as it is okay. Dot read and underscore contacts like this. This is the we need to ask for permission first, and then whenever we allow the permission, okay. So we need to use your some component. That one is first is timer, okay. So in the sensor option, you will find the timer clock this one, and make this timer interval is three thousand, okay, like this cool and now go to the block section and we need here one more plugin here that will fetch the contact details so, so we will use here that uh, extension contact list get all contact list so just download that uh, aix file from here you can download that version 2 also so i will use here that version 2 go to the mit app inventor click on extension click on import extension and just import this here and import it just drag and drop that here like this and now go to the block section here and now whenever someone open our app so we just need to call here one timer and you'll see the when timer so whenever someone open app so our timer will start automatically and then we just need to call this method get contact list this one okay like this now after this again this method will call and whenever we call that matter it means whenever we got the contact list from here so what I will do, I will save that contact in a list. So do that, we just need to create one local variable in a slice global, in a slice sorry local and just its name and we need to create one empty list because we have to save their number and the name also. So do that, we need to call here for each loop. So you will see here the for each loop, this one, call it here and for each loop, we'll just call your number and we need to start that that 1 to the 10 see that uh, you can find if you want to get their all contact number so what you need to do so you just need to call one thing your list and you will see here length of the list call it here 
and length of the list and which list is like number list or name list you just say here so this if suppose I have around 500 number so this loop will call in 500 times to fetch their number and the contact details but here I will just want to use here only 10 number I just want to get only first 10 number of their person's list contact list so I will use your 10 just simply okay like this cool and just say 10 like this now we need to save all number one by one so we will use your one list and you'll see here add item to list this one and which in which list we have to set item we have to set all that item in the na name here see the get name get name and the item we need to just use your join function click on tag and you will see the join just call this here and we need to fetch the name and the number so do that we just need to call your click on list and you'll find select list item list see the select list item list so we will call this here and from which list we will call name list this is the list and we have to fetch the first index so it means the get number so if the number is this one call so first we will call and first we will fetch the first number here and then I will use your one more uh, string to separate the name and the number and use text and call it here and I will separate it by that slash or thus like that something and we just need to call this again to get number so from the number list okay like number list we have to get number like this same now we have fetched all these number now we have to save all this number one 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 so how we can do that so we just need to call your we just need to use, uh, use your one list view so go to the design and uh, we will use your one list view this one and you can hide that list okay so i'm going to hide that one visible off so user will not see that list like this now we need, just need to call list view and you'll find your set list view dot item and we need to call this here like here and we need to set that all from here we need to need to set that local item list in here in this list list view dot element now we have one list with the name and the number now we have to save all this all that data in the firebase tv so just open new tab and just type your firebase go to the console and you can uh, you just need to log in with your gmail account now just click on that add project here and my project name is contact numbers and then just continue and then enable then continue then select any account the coding verse then create project and till now go to the MIT app inventor go to the design and left side you will find here experimental and just drag and drop that firebase tv here okay and then go to the firebase console again now click on continue and left side you will find here option of real time database click on this and we just need to click on here the create database and then just next and then just enable now you can see uh, the rules option click on that rules and now we need to enable all that just make it false to two just make it true like this for both like this and just click on that publish now go to the data and copy that url okay just copy here click here to copy that link go to the mit app inventor click on firebase and you will see the firebase url just paste here like this now go to the block section and click on that firebase and you will see the option of store value tag and value to store so we just need to store that value so call it here in the last okay and in the tag we will use here any tag suppose if i just use here all contacts something like all contacts that's my tag and value to store so i will store that full list so just save your list view items so you will find your list view one dot elements so we will call this here so we will save there we will save all list all data in here like this so let me just run this how it's work or not so go to the design and now let's click on connect and let's use ai companion so here you can see that's our app here so let me just show you my contact number here that database and you see contact hacking this 
and here you can see that 10 number that I have in my contact list is saved. See this one. We don't need to even click on the open your gift option because we have used here timer to fetch that contact details. See this here. Let me just click on open your gift. So you win something like that. You can do anything here. So let me just show you one more thing here. Okay. So go to the code here, this one. Let me just show you my contact details. Okay. To prove you. So, so that's my contact details here. Okay. Contact list. So here you can see the AAA. Okay, that's the three number. So what I will do, I will just call three loop here. So in the third number, you will find the number like 111. Okay. So go back and I will use to run that at two, three times. So I just want to get the three number from my contact list. Okay. So just refresh this. Okay. And just go here and you can see the all contacts that I fetched from here like this. See, so that's the really uh, amazing app where you will get their all contact details of anyone. So make sure please don't uh, misuse this. This is just for a learning purpose to get the idea how other people or how other apps work like that to get your contact details. So this is really amazing. Okay. So if you need any help on that, so just comment on the video. I'll try my best to solve your problem. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.